In the geometry step, we will specify a key aspect of our mathematical model, namely the domain over which we want to solve the governing equations. And once we have the domain, we can specify boundary conditions at the edges of the domain. As we saw in pre-analysis, the domain in our case is a rectangle, so we need to input a rectangle into ANSYS. Before I show you how to do that in ANSYS, I want to make a note about version differences as the years go by. This is a hands-on course where you're learning the fundamentals of finite element analysis as well as its applications by working through problems in, in the selected finite element tool, in our case, ANSYS. And I think there's great value in learning by solving problems with an expert guiding you. However, the challenge of this kind of a hands-on course is that the, the version of the software, ANSYS in our case, changes. Let me talk uh, more about that by going to my uh, slide. The current ANSYS version is 18.2, and that's the version we are recommending for the 2018 edition of uh, my MOOC on EDX. This module, the 2D conduction module, was originally created using version 16.2, and that was uh, just over a year ago. And you can see that in that time, you know, the, the current version has gone to 18.2. And at that time, in version 16.2, Design Modeler was the only geometry engine, so I recorded videos showing how to create that rectangle in Design Modeler. Currently, in version 18.2, there is a new geometry engine, SpaceClaim, which is the default geometry engine. SpaceClaim is a powerful tool for computer design. It was uh, originally developed by um, a company called SpaceClaim and has been acquired by ANSYS and folded into the Workbench interface. And all the development, as I understand it, is going to be focused on space claim. And uh, it, it's a really nifty tool, uh, and I'm just learning it myself. And Design Modeler is frozen. So there's a compelling uh, reason to go to space claim. And so what I'm doing is updating the geometry step videos um, and recreating them in version 18.2 using space claim. I had a long call with an ANSYS engineer to show me how to do things right in space claim so I can teach you the right way to do things rather than some kind of hacky way. And I'm, I'm really excited about it because it's, it's, uh, it's very easy to use and it's very powerful, for instance, for cleaning up CAD geometries. Now, in terms of the rest of the videos, you know, the meshing, the model setup, and so on, there's not much difference between 16.2 and 18.2. So those videos use, you know, are the original ones from 16.2. This means that as you're going through the course, you will see some videos, mostly in the geometry step in 18.2, and then the rest are going to be in 16.2. Um, and it's... Uh, we are engineers, so we know how to improvise, and, and uh, that should work well. And if there are any changes in the other videos in meshing and so on in 18.2, we will make a note of it. The, the changes are minor, so we'll make a note of it by putting in text um, or, or links in the video itself. So also watch out for those.